Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a highlight area or more like a, a ring of focus in Adobe Premiere Pro. And essentially what we're doing here is we are just taking a piece of footage, finding an area that we wanna highlight and then doing so with a little bit of brightness and contrast. And then we can animate that if it's like a moving thing as well. So let's get started. This is a very simple effect to pull off. So all we need to do is grab our footage, drag it in, go to our effects, look for color balance, HLS. We can search HLS to get there. It's under video effects, color correction. Drop that in. And then we're gonna go into lightness and we're going to bring that down. This is up in effect controls of our clip. We're gonna bring that down to maybe about, oh, maybe minus 35, minus 40. And then we are going to create our circle. So go to color balance, click on the create ellipse mask button right there. We can then click on this circle in the center, this hand will come up and we can grab this. We wanna move it so that it focuses on our area and maybe we wanna make it a little bit bigger. So we're just gonna grab these right here. Now, this is exactly the opposite of what we wanna do. So we want to go into the invert button down here. That's gonna create a lighter uh, cutout and then the rest of it will be dark. We will then go to the mask feather and increase that by just a little bit, maybe about up to 20 and that'll just soften the edges up a little bit more. And then now our audience is sort of focused on this bright area. If we want to animate the mask, we can do that as well. So for example, if we wanted to start the mask uh, more right here, and I click on this mask one to bring this back up so I can grab and move it easily. So let's say we wanted to start it right here. We click that toggle animation, it creates a keyframe for us. And then we move forward, maybe as the monkey starts moving back, we move it back a bit, move it back a bit move it back a bit, and now we have this animation so that it actually tracks with whatever we are trying to focus on uh, with our ring of focus here. But that is really the entire effect. Like I said, it's just a couple of clicks and you're pretty much good to go. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos, send me this one. Go ahead and subscribe button. I make a video every other day. And until next time, guys, see ya.